Good afternoon everyone. It is Monday and it is my cardiology week. So I have just got back from the hospital. It's about 2.30ish, uh, 3 maybe. But basically today we were in the cardiac catheterization lab, saw some really interesting cases. Um, the same sort of thing really, dilated cardiomyopathy and trying to find out and get to the bottom of why it had developed. <laughs> and whether the coronary arteries were involved and there was any ischemic heart disease. And then after that, we had a tutorial with a really great doctor um, going through ECG basics and just getting to grips with that again. It was funny because we had something explained to us in the morning about heart block and then got quizzed about it again in the afternoon and we needed a refresher, like all of us, which was funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really good morning and afternoon that I've had. We had a little break, uh, but that was a bit too long. Maybe not a little break, it was quite a long break. And that may or may not have been my fault. <laughs> we went to Ikea for some lunch. because the doctor had a ton of patients and he was meant to be giving us a lecture type tutorial so it was literally just kind of one-on-one uh, -on -one, but one-on group that was what was meant to happen but he had all these patients and told us to come back in 20 minutes and 20 minutes turned into an hour <laughs> for us and he kind of was like where were you we had the tutorial and everything's good I'm back home now and I'm going to do some questions, I think. I'm trying to cut down on caffeine, so I'm probably not going to have my afternoon coffee for studying. But I think I'll be okay. I'm just going to do some questions and then practice with a friend. And then I've got a research meeting and hopefully I'll get through some of my list, my disease list for medicine and tackle that this afternoon. So that's the plan. <sighs> Let's see how it goes. Good morning everyone, I don't even think I am in focus, oh there we go. So I'm just manoeuvring out of my maze car park, <laughs> heading to the hospital now, it's Thursday, today is cardiology, well it's cardiology for the next two weeks and today we've got a ward round, I've heard it's about three hours. I don't know if you can even hear me with the car vibrating like this. But yeah, it's a three hour ward round. And then we have a tutorial, an ECG tutorial, which I never say no to because me and ECGs, one day it'll all just click. It's getting there, it's getting there. I have a friend who's in F2 now. And she said, I asked her when she started understanding ECGs fully. And she said in the year that I'm in. So I'm hoping everything will come together this year and will be really smooth by the end of the year for OSCEs. So I've got OSCE practice and then I've got a meeting and then hopefully I'm seeing a friend from my old year who's back on the island. So I should have a nice day today. I didn't vlog the other day that we had and that was purely because I wasn't really feeling like vlogging and I wanted to be like happy and upbeat in the vlogs and not be a Debbie Downer so um, I thought let me just leave it and also we, we didn't do that much we just had some tutorials and there wasn't much board stuff that we did so I didn't think it was worth vlogging so hopefully uh, you'll see a few more days from these two weeks of cardio that I've got and you can get a flavour of what cardio is like here in Cyprus. I'll try and film as much as possible on the boards as I can. Maybe it'll just be little clips but hopefully you guys find it interesting.
a history of uh, diabetes mellitus without a definite diagnosis. Uh, he has a uh, glucose level. Uh, Good morning, everyone. It is Monday. I hope you can hear me. Today, I have cardiothoracic surgery. I'm really, really excited. I guess I've missed surgery a little bit being on medicine rotation. I'm here now and I'm just going to head in and see if I can find Omar. I'm with him today. We're split in group. We, I'm also with Mustafa. You might have seen him from my other vlogs, but um, he's not well at the moment. So it's just going to be Omar and I. So let's see if he's there. And if not, we'll try and find him. I'm so excited. I just saw a heart beating inside someone for the first time. That was amazing. Um, yeah, it's made me feel like full of life myself. Yeah, it was so nice, but it was a bit of a shame with the staff. They weren't very nice to us. They didn't explain anything, and they kind of complained and moaned about us for not for speaking to each other and just talking about the procedure because no one was speaking to us. So it's a bit of a shame, but. It was cool to see the heart and lungs inside someone and yeah, so I might be complaining with um, one of my colleagues to the lady that's in charge of everything, just letting her know about how everyone was and how rude they were to us. I don't think you should be rude to people, even if they are of a lower station, like we're the lowest of the low as medical students, but I think we still deserve a little bit of respect. That's how it is. So we're gonna to go to the ward and find our other peers and hopefully do a ward round and learn something as we didn't learn anything today so far. It is now Thursday and it's my penultimate day of cardiology that I've now finished and I thought I'd just insert a little clip of me here uh, because we have finished pretty much. Overall it's been a great placement, like I've learned so much, I'm much more comfortable with ECGs now, I know how to read them methodically and yeah I'm just a lot more comfortable with them. We have listened to so many murmurs and I'd say I'm kind of maybe 70% comfortable with them. I don't know if that 30% will come this side of being a doctor. <laughs> maybe afterwards I'll get even more comfortable, I'm hoping. And I could kind of, rec I recognize it when they're systolic and diastolic now. I think based on the history, you can classify what sort of murmur it is as well based on that. So that helps too. The cardiothoracic surgery was so cool. It was amazing to see a heart beating inside someone. Like I, I never thought, about seeing that and that I would get to see that. So that was really exciting. And I'm thankful for that opportunity. The altercation we had with the nurses, I guess, aside from that, it was a really good experience. And we've complained to the necessary people about what happened. And I think oh, we had a pep talk today from, I'm just turn off this heater. It's got really hot in here. Yeah, we had a pep talk today from the lead cardiologist who's now retired, but he comes in to teach. And he was saying that it's tough for everyone when they're students. People are rude to them, we're at the bottom of the chain and it's kind of something we just have to deal with and it will get better when we're, a doc when we're doctors. That's not something I'm happy about. That's not something I feel that medical students should have to deal with, but I guess it happens in every industry. When you first start a job in the business world, sometimes you're just getting coffee. For us, it's being spoken to like we're pieces of crap. So, yeah. <laughs> he basically was telling us to just hang on in there and things will get better. So that was nice to hear. Cardiology's done. Thank you for sticking with me and watching this. Have a good day. Bye.